Backman Toby is a nice Backman model. And I'm not just saying that just because that is the only Backman Thomas model I have. Despite me sort of having uh, Backman Thomas and Percy in the form of Billy 2005. And this great western bloke that likes to overheat. Well, not overheat, but get very hot to the point of overheating and probably blowing up. Anyways, on the market, you've got Backman Toby currently for sale. Uh, brand new. You can get straight from Backman. Uh, in the past, you could get Hornby Toby. Now, I'm a big defender of Hornby models because I love the idea of the Thomas characters, but using their basis, or close-ish to their basis... And just recycling old toolings to make them look, well, like, real engines. Not this railway series nonsense where it's not actually railway series. But, you know what I'm saying. Toby is the one exception where I'm like, he's a brick shit house. Because look at him next to Backman Toby. He can't fit under bridges. He can. He's bloody long. He's not. And Toby would run, but there's one problem with him. Mazak rot. Now, this is a Toby that was on the Brisingham layout for a long while. Uh, doesn't run anymore. Simply because the chassis has expanded and all the mounts have broken off. And this front piece is absolutely... Ruined because it crumbled away As you can see there on that little bearing you could see the cracks in the paintwork That's the mazak rot Now this thing doesn't even run at all. I haven't got the motor for it anymore, but It's sealed it Seized not sealed Maybe if I had the 3d printing capabilities, I will make a replacement But I don't because I'm old school so what's the point of this video instead of me going on a tangent about Hornby Toby being utterly garbage and useless for any lack of a bridge? Well, introducing his brand new little brother I've just made. This is a D'Agostini Toby using a very cut down Hornby O4O chassis. Now, this isn't actually the first time I've done this. Here is my example from about seven years ago that I've only recently repainted. Meet Richard De Lucy, named after the founder of my town and one of the locos that runs on my layout, De Lucy Junction. This engine's been around for ages. If you've known me for ages, this thing's gone through many guises. It used to be a sort of a BR bauxite brown, like a, a, a wagon. Uh, in Mozzie and the Gang, this was the character Lewis, based off of a, uh, well, an old friend of mine who I haven't been in contact with for ages because uh, we sort of fell out, really. Well, drifted apart, I should say. But this is made out of a D'Agostini Toby, as you could sort of see. The cab has been cut out, so it's not a big block. But I've kept these here because I can't be bothered, and it doesn't really matter too much. The face has been cut off. It wasn't salvageable, so I've put the doors on each end for the smoke box and firebox. The buffer beams are from a Backman J72, the old X mainline one. Cow catchers are made from bits of wire. I originally used the original D'Agostini cow catchers, the big one piece plastic thing, but they look ugly, so I've replaced them. Toby, I've not bothered with cow catchers because. I wanted to make him very sturdy uh, for because he's a replacement to this Hornby Toby here for the Bresingham layout. As this guy doesn't run, he doesn't go under bridges, and again he doesn't run. So <laughs> he's just sitting here for parts. Um, but this guy started out as a D'Agostini Toby, as you can see. Um, here's the chassis. I've changed the motor out for a slightly more modern one. Still runs like a pocket rocket, but it's a bit more smoother and it's wired up instead of just like relying on the contacts resting on the uh, the pickups. So you can see it's very, very chopped down. But I, I did it like this just so it can the body can rest on the couplings. 
You could probably do some cow catchers. I'm not too bothered because, well, this is a gift for uh, the operators at Bresingham. Uh, the only things you need to do to upgrade this is, well, a bit of paintwork detail, like, uh, I guess, cow catchers, the roof, the face, because it's just a plastic face originally. I've repainted it. This is all matte coat. Uh, it's a plastic coat. Uh, varnish. It doesn't really look too matte. It looks more like they're satin, but oh well. Whatever works. These buffers, they are from old Triang wagons and very early engines they do. I think to make this whole model, it would cost you about 20 quid, possibly? So... Instead of spending about 80 quid for a Backman Toby, if you can't get that money, or a little bit less for an overscaled uh, housing block, you can build your own, is what the point of this video is. Other things I've done is I've shaved along the side of these side plates because the crank pins stick out a lot, and I don't want them scraping against the side plates and then causing this to lock up. Well, not lock up, but I wanted to run easier. Um, brake pipes are standard underscaled Hornby ones. These I've just got abundance of them, so I thought it'd be a nice little detail to add. Toby doesn't have brake pipes in the series, but he also had a spark arrester, and that broke off between the filming of season one. So there we are. Um, yeah, buffers you can find these on eBay or from a broken wagon for either a pound to five quid. I think there's people on eBay selling like. A set of four buffers, these metal ones, I think they're brass, these just cheap ones for about five pound, four pound or something. So there's that. Plastic card sheet used for the little fittings like the coupling hook and the base for the vacuum pipe and the buffer beam itself. That is a sheet of, let's go have a look quickly, that's a sheet of A4. 0 075 millimeter plastic sheet you could probably find anywhere i just use this one because i it's just the right thickness uh this costs about like a quid or a few pence like 50 pence or something for a sheet you can make wagon roofs out of this out of like for old trying wagons that are missing well their roofs or many other things so that's like 50 pence um the main body now, I've only chosen a Diagostini Toby because that's what I've had lying around. You can use an Ertel one if you want, but you're going to have to cut through a lot of metal just to make the chassis fit. Chassis is optional. You could probably, if you have that money, you could use a Ten Shodo motor bogey. They're like 80 quid or something. But if you're that daring, then go ahead. I'm not stopping you. But if you want to be cheap like me, buy a simple 040 chassis for either a tenner, or if you're going to be silly, Go for that one user on eBay who's charging about 21 quid for a very up-to-date chassis which has very slow running capabilities, but they're nicked off of these collector club models that Hornby are trying to flog off because these are the old 2022 ones. Um, and if you go to big shows like Warley, well we can't go to Warley now, that's over, or Great Electric, anywhere that, that the Hornby stand is, they most likely have some of these left over. Selling them for a tenner. I think of a Christmas time they were free if you spent over 100 quid on something like a Christmas tree they were doing or a loco. So these just come free. I, 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 I think, I imagine. So a tenner to 20 quid. We're, we're going to say a tenner because I spent a tenner for this chassis. Uh, if you want to change the motor, that's optional. That's like, what, five quid or something? Oh yeah, the main body. Sorry, I, I went on a tangent there. The main body, you could probably be lucky and find it at a charity shop. You might be charged like, what, 40 pence, 50 pence, a pound, a pound 50. Varies really. I'm going to put a pound just for the sake of it. So totaling up is the total on screen because I don't want to do the maths right now <laughs> while I'm recording. But yeah, that's how you can make a cheap Toby. So, 
I hope this video has been useful for you. Um, again, this might the prices might vary, and of course, if the actual materials and items are available to you in your country, then uh, yeah, it varies. A lot of this varies, really. But for me, if you want to make exactly what my Toby that I've done here, it costs about how much it says on the screen. It's probably not going to be too much. If it isn't, I'm going to have a laugh in editing. So um, enough waffling. Let's give Toby a little run, if I can get a clip of that. Right. Meet you at the layout.